mini-series about overcoming life obstacles, I'd like to talk to you about a word that I've been living with for the past few months. It's called focus. So time, attention, money, and willpower, they're limited resources. And overcoming obstacles requires focusing your resources intelligently. Kind of like it took me seven years to build this car behind me. Now, building focus is like building a muscle. It requires intention and effort to really encourage growth. So scattering your attention and resources really limits your ability to overcome obstacles. So number one, determine what success looks like. Now focus is easier to maintain if you really have a clear objective. You might need to find a better job in order to purchase that home that's the home of your dreams, right? But what does a better job really mean? If you feel that it means like a salary of $75,000 or no more 50 hour work weeks or maybe even a boss that you respect, right? Some of those things are so important. Maybe it's somebody like you're saying you want to be in the pharmaceutical field, maybe an engineer, marketing within 10 miles of your house. That's all kinds of different ways that you can look into what that means. Then you can direct your energy and you can direct your resources wisely because then you know exactly what you're there to strive for. It's all about focus. All right, number two, make a list of what you won't do. Warren Buffett, he's kind of a well-known guy, right? He suggests this exercise. Make a list of everything that you really want to accomplish. Just throw it all in there, put a whole list, and, and then put the list in order by circling the top three items. Now his advice, is to avoid everything else in the list as if your life depended on it. Nothing else matters but those three things. So avoid all the distractions in life that really don't matter. Handle your current obstacle. There'll be a lot of time in the future to accomplish other goals. Create a list of your accomplishments at the end of each day. That's number three. Success can increase focus. A little progress can fuel your attention. So spend a few minutes at the end of each day and kind of just list through your successes. No matter how small, it doesn't matter because success is really success. Number four, control your thoughts. Keep your thoughts on the actions that will bring about positive results. Anything else is just a waste of time. I know it's so hard, but it's possible. Can anything impressive be accomplished without focus. So use your time and other resources to the best of your ability. Now distractions, they might be enjoyable, but they won't help you conquer your obstacles, I promise you. Now if you'd like help with focus, if you'd like help with obstacles, I would absolutely love to help you. I'm a certified empowerment life coach and a consultant with over 30 years of experience. That's crazy to say, but the white hairs hopefully kind of prove that for you. <laughs> and I have a program that I've developed called The Flip. You hear me talk about it all the time because I've flipped out about it, it's so good. DM me for information on how we can have that one-on-one -on -one relationship and I can help you overcome your life obstacles to really achieve your number one goal. And here's something really cool. I also have a private group that I've recently just launched called The Flip Community. It's just underway and you can gain access to this group for absolutely free. So contact me quickly to get in. Just say in the comments below down here, flip out and DM me, say flip out and I'll help you get there, right? There's only one more thing, flip out.